What Ernst Moldashev saw in the labyrinth of ancient Crete. Now we know that the labyrinth here, in uh, Crete, in ancient Crete, the structure design built by the legendary artificer Daedalus, the king for King Minos of Crete of, at Knossos Palace in Heraklion, its function was to hold the Minotaur, the monster uh, who was uh, half man, half uh, bull. The upper part was bull, the bottom half was man, the body of a man. And uh, the monster eventually was killed by the hero Theseus. Daedalus had also cunningly made the labyrinth that he could barely escape it after he built it. Uh, although early Cretan coins occasionally, occasionally exhibit branching patterns, the single path, unique Kurlsler, seven course classical design without branching or dead ends became associated with the labyrinth on coins as early as 430 BC. Now, in English, the term labyrinth generally is synonymous with maze and uh, a result of the long history of unicursal representation of mythological labyrinth. Uh, that's just some of the uh, history of this. Now, what Ernst Moldashev saw? Most of the humanity believes that they see only with their physical eyes, completely ignoring the spiritual realms in fact, we do not even need to see with our natural eyes, we see with our mind. Science, religion, and education have drowned out our imagination, but there is a blind pituitary gland in our forehead, on our forehead, between our eyes, which according to medical science has no reason to exist there. It's also called the so-called th third eye. All people have this third eye, but we cannot see with it, and in order to be able to see through it, one needs to either have the charisma or to practice in order to be able to open it. So what do you see through the third eye? You see the invisible, the material, and the heavenly. Electromagnetic waves exist, but we do not see them. We found them to exist, but how many more have we not found? I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And here we have Theseus going to the maze to uh, do away with the Minotaur, and he was given a cord, uh, a, some kind of a uh, um, woolen cord, in order to find his path back out to save himself. So the mythology goes. So this um, Russian ophthalmologist, researcher Ernst Maldashev, he visited the labyrinth of Crete with scientists. He said he entered, divided the labyrinth into two rooms, and there was a sarcophagus that was opened in there. We cannot make sarcophaguses today. Within 40 days, the dead person disappeared inside the sarcophagus, that is why you call it the sarcophagus, it eats the flesh away. But everything according to quantum physics is energy. We first saw them with a third eye, and now we can photograph them with a digital camera. And we have uh, an image of Ernst Moldashev in the labyrinth, circled with uh, some kind of uh, what we see, what we call light orbs. Here we see him with the light orbs of various shapes and sizes. Our ancestors knew how to use these spheres, either to lift heavy weights or to cure diseases, etc., etc. Each sphere consists of four spheres inside each other, from uh, what uh, Ernst says. And in the center, they form a cross, and from here our ancestors found the hooked cross, because that is uh, really the case when the intangible balls increase in volume. At the entrance to the maze, there were dolmens, and these dolmens have the ability to form an electric earth coil, which was necessary for the genetic experiments performed in the labyrinth. This is according to Panayotis Derivas, Olympus Gea, and I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.